folks, we're going to shine a bright local spotlight tonight. The Kansas City Chiefs are just two wins away from their first Super Bowl appearance in 50 years. Now, lots of people will have their eyes glued to the TV for that game, but a man right here in the Ozarks is one who helps bring radio listeners all the sounds of the game. And when the Chiefs clinched their first round by a couple weeks ago, I got the chance to have a first hand look at what former Ozark Fire Chief Darren White gets to do. And let me tell you, it is a football fan's dream. I was in the fire service for 20 years. 11 and a half of that was as fire chief. After a long career in fire, Darren White decided this year that it was time to step down as the Ozark Fire Chief. I've always heard that when you retire, you all, you're almost busier then than you were when you were working. That's because, well, he's still a chief, a Kansas City chief. I'm a parabolic mic operator. The uh, clear dish with the microphone in the middle that so many times makes the sports center funnies, you know, in the evening that people get plowed over. But I have not been run over yet. Over the last 10 years, Darren has been part of the Chiefs Radio Network. I have a family member who is the executive producer of the Chiefs Radio Network, and he just called me one time and said, I'm kind of in a bind for Sunday's game. Would you mind to come help? What Chiefs fan wouldn't? Get to the stadium about 9, 9.30. Oh, yeah. While the fans are getting tuned up at the tailgate, Who's Darren is getting tuned up too, in a different way. Going down to the radio booth here, they store the parabolic mics in this room. This is it, this is our equipment. One ear, you listen to the radio broadcast, so you're hearing Mitch Holtis and Kendall Gam, and in the other ear, you listen to what you pick up. He hears another familiar voice too, his cousin who helped him land the gig, executive producer of the Chiefs radio network, Dan Israel. I, th I think he was a, you know, a Chiefs fan and he was a football fan. It was a chance for him to get up close to the action. I just thought it might be a good mix. Yes, Darren is there to work, but he gets the chance to be a fan too. And this is a picture I always stop and get every single game. Go out on the field, see, see what players are up and moving, you know. Come game time, you can hear the crowd roar, but Darren can hear even more. The microphone has range that reaches across the stadium. I have heard some interesting conversations on the sidelines among players, coaches. Just some interesting stuff about maybe game strategy among players. Darren sports a piece of pink tape around his leg so the boys back home can see him doing his thing. So some Sunday, keep your eyes out for Darren roaming the sidelines at Arrowhead. It is an awesome thing to do. It's, it's fun. It's a unique way to watch the football game. 